What's up everyone? This is Russ. Today I'm finally going to do the monopole rodent coil test. I uh, apologize for not doing this sooner. Things have been crazy. Lots of things going on. It's the way life is. And I uh, hope you guys like my shirt. Yeah! Alright, let's get started. So I'm going to show you what I got and um, show you what I'm going to do today. I made up these schematics. Okay. There are four tests on this schematic, each one with the light bulb after the bridge rectifier. Okay, four tests. I'm going to do these exact same tests again with the light bulb in front of the rectifier. Okay, so that's basically the difference between these four tests and the other four tests I'll be doing. Now, I have a couple of problems I'm going to tell you right away. I've got. Um, um, the main problem I have is that my light bulb is pulling a lot of the load and my rodent coil is pulling hardly any because the wire is so thick. Um, it is, I believe, 20 gauge wire, so that's pretty big. So it's like almost acting not as a load at all, and it's giving me very, very minute changes in magnetic field. Uh, I can see them with my magnetic pole detector. Um, I'll show you what I got set up here. I even created a... Uh, a jig pretty close to Jamie's jig um, made out of um, uh, what is that MDF wood MDF board um, and I also made this magnetic pole detector holder and I've got it so I can take this out and uh, do my tests here with the probe and then I can slide it in this jig and uh, that way it doesn't move uh, one of the dilemmas I had personally on this is orientation of the coil. Um, I've got it sitting vertical, and what I'll be doing is turning this whole jig around um, so that I can uh, align the coil up differently with the magnetic poles of the earth. Uh, I truly do find that that will affect this test, uh, or at least if you were doing measurements to the T, um, I do I do believe that would uh, change the results. I do not know if it will change the results of my test, but I honestly think orientation of the coil um, is a big issue. is a big deal. Um, so back to what I was talking about. Basically, my load across my light bulb is is a lot, and the load across my coil is not very much. So what I have here is some power resistors. Uh, these came out of a fork truck. They're 120 watt. Okay, and they're 15 ohm. Yeah, I believe I have to measure them with my meter real quick. Hold on. Okay, I was totally way off. These are 3.5 ohms um, when they're wired together like they are in series, and uh, 120 watt a piece. So I'm pulling what 240 watts at 3.5 ohms and then the rodent coil is getting the rest of that juice and it gets hot quick so those tests will be interesting uh, the magnetic field is really really big with that much power but it's not too much where the coil just burns up right away like you've seen some of my other coils and uh, let's get started on this monopole test all right I'll show you what I got real quick just so you can see this um, I have a power switch here and I've got it hooked up so I can just turn it on and off AC 120 volts coming out to a bridge rectifier uh, then to the light bulb and off to my coil I've got some nice terminal blocks on this coil I put on this while back and uh, this will basically give me an easy way to wire this up so that's what I got and basically I've got my meter here that I built and it's a Gauss meter. And if you turn it on, um, here you can see the output of north or south. And I'm going to be lining that up with my um, drill bit. Now I've got uh, got this output here, and this output will change. Uh, right now it's at 6 volts. That's the output of my magnetic field uh, tester. And it will either go up or down um, depending on what it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this magnet against here. You can see my lights light up 
that's south, that's north. Okay, and how strong the field is by having the LEDs light up. I built that a while back just for this test. Uh, now, you can see my meter. If I take the magnet away, it's right at 6 volt, 6.01. And if I put this magnet on south, voltage goes up. Take it off, put this magnet on north, voltage goes down. Okay, so that's my test results. This will actually give me fine, fine results and show exactly what's going on. The meter will actually not pick up very well on a low, low test. It does on the high test. So those are everything I got. Um, I'm going to try everything I can to exclude all variables, including moving the rodent coil around and everything. So, let's get started on the rodent monopole coil test. Here we go. Okay, everyone. I am going to do test number one with the light bulb after the bridge rectifier. Okay, that's what the schematic looks like. I'm going to go ahead and use the big drill bit first. Put it in here like this. Make sure it's centered. Looks good there. All right. My meter might be kind of hard to see, but hopefully you can see it. I'll tell you what it says, 5.78 of a volt, okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn the power on. Changed 0 0.01, it went up. 0 0.078 with it on, I went down, and 0 0.08 with it off. So it goes down 0.2 of a volt. Okay, so I am getting a magnetic change. Now it's on right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn this and see if I get different results. No change in direction at all. So, oh, there it went up. Might because I'm pulling on my cords, though. There you go. All right, well, no change. There it jumped a little. Things could be moving. You're talking minute measurements here. But pretty much no real change barely fluctuating. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is measure the other side of the drill bit. So it's at 6.35 on that side and 5.85. So that tells me I'm getting a north and a south pole on this drill bit. So no monopole in this test. Go ahead and do the next circuit. Test number two. Rodent coils are still in series, but they are flipped polarities now. So they're running against each other. Uh, I really don't think they're going to show much results at all. 5.81 volts on my meter. Go ahead and turn this on. No change at all. Kind of fluctuating point one of a volt. Go ahead and check the other side. So went up there to six point one seven and down there to five point eight nine. Now this drill bit is magnetized, which is uh, gonna show effects. five point eight three I'm gonna go ahead and turn it no changes went down point zero two there there it went down anymore might just because things are moving 
Yeah. All right. Stayed steady all the way around that time. So no change in direction. Off to the next one. Okay, guys. Test three. Looks like that. They're in par uh, series. No, parallel now. The coils are in parallel. Top to top. Bottom to bottom. And here we go. Power it on. Meters at 5.83. There it went down to 5.82. Turn it back off. Went back up. Turn it back on. Went back down. Let's try rotation. No changes at all. Let's go ahead and check the other pole. So it's at 5.84 right now. Now it's at 6.03. And now it's at 6.32. So again we still have we still have the same poles on that drill bit. Let's try the next one. Alright guys, test four. This time uh, the coils are still in parallel, but the one winding is switched, so they're running against each other. Just like in that first test. We're at 5.94. Get this lined up a little better. Here we go. 5.76 of a volt. My meter. Turn this on. 5.0. 07, or 5.77 now. Turn it back off. No change. Turn it back on. No change. Stayed the same. On or off. I'll go ahead and rotate this. Jump down there a little. I'm going to jump down a little more. Probably because it's moving. Yeah. Stayed the same. Jumped up there. Pretty much the same. No uh, no real effect on turning it. So we're at uh, a low voltage here. Let's check the other side. And we have a high voltage there. So no, no polarity change. We have a both north and a south. No monopole. All tests have run. So let's go ahead and do the same tests. This time we'll do them with the bulb on the front side of the bridge. Alright everyone, so we're going to do test 4 again, but this time the bulb is now uh, between the 100 volt AC, 120 AC, and the bridge rectifier. Alright, it's off right now. Turned it on. See, we're at 5.83 of a volt. I'll turn it on. No change. Back off. Back on. That jumped, but went back. I'm not going to turn this thing again. I am just going to uh, check the other side here. So we got a high voltage there and a low voltage there. So it looks like we are no monopole. Let's go ahead and do the next test. All right. Let's see. Test three. Bulb up here instead of here now. All right. There we go. Turning it on now. Uh, it went down. And it's kind of fluctuating. Almost staying the same. Five point eight seven. Kind of jumping around. We're on a low voltage though. And high voltage. So no no test results of a monopole on that one either. Alright, tests two. Bulb up here instead of here. Alright, right now we are reading six. Get this set up. There you go, we're at 5.75 of a volt. Turn this on. No change. Turn it back off. On. No change at all. But they're running against each other, so I mean. Those results actually make perfect sense. We were in a low voltage, and now we're in a high voltage. So we definitely have still yet the same effect. Alright, test one. Bulb here instead of here. Right now we're at 5.79 of a volt. Turn this on. 
5.78 went down. Let's go back off. Went back up, on, went down. So we are seeing a pull change there. That was a low voltage. This one's still a high voltage. So no monopole with the standard testing. Okay, everyone. So basically what I have uh, just did, uh, what I just done, is done the monopole test. There you guys go. There are the results. Now, uh, I'm going to play with some higher current here in a bit, but uh, I want to tell you guys something. Um, here's what I want to tell you. Alright, this drill bit, um, I believe what happened, and th I have done this myself, is magnetize this drill bit to where it had a north pole or south pole here, and the north or south here, and then this side was a null or a or a no no magnetic field that could be traced over here. So basically, this was a bar magnet, and this was just nothing, and that would give you the effect of a monopole if you were to test this. Now they ran their meter up and down the uh, the drill bit. And uh, you saw their results. If not, you can go watch it. But uh, that's my thought on maybe maybe what happened. If if not, it did work the way they showed. Uh, hey, fabulous! All right, let's play some high current. This be fun. All right, you guys ready for some high current? I've got this hooked up to my power resistors. Somebody wants me. And. Uh, Let's turn this puppy on. All right, here we go. You ready? Can you guys see that drill bit? All right, right now we're at uh, 6.4 of a volt. I got the drill bit in backwards than what I did last time. Oh, here we go. Three, two, one. See, it moved the drill bit. It actually started crackling. Try it again. That's some power right there. Alright, so I'm going to test this drill bit on the one end. We're at a south and a north. Can you guys see that meter back there change? I think you can. So we have basically a, a bar magnet. Now I'm going to turn this around and show you the difference of the pole change. So right now we're at 6.24, and that would be a south pole. And here we go, I'm going to turn this on for just a second and right back off. On, off. Alright, now we have a north pole on that end of the drill bit. So that tells me that the, uh, the drill bit flipped polarities. See that? Now if I test the tip of it on here, it's a south. So let's switch it back around. Let's see if we can get the same results again. Charging now. So there you go. That tells me that the rodent coil, under the same circumstances, but with higher amperage, does create um, a north and south pole, from what I can tell with this test. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to try to turn this into a monopole. So I'm going to stick this in, let's see, south, let's go ahead and stick it in here like this, turn it on, and pull it out. Oh man, it's got some current. That's crazy. Alright, I'm going to take this off and check it here. If you guys can see this. So I have a north pole there. And a south pole at the end. South. North. So let's try this.
So I can north there. South at the tip. Alright, so I'm not going to bore you guys anymore. You've had enough being bored. So there you go. I cannot turn this into a monopole. Nothing. Now let's play with some high current magnets. Ready? Yeah, there we go. Alright, just to show you guys some of the current going through this coil, I have a bolt sitting here. When I'm going to turn this on, it's probably going to get sucked into that coil. Three, two, one. So there you, there you go. That's the kind of force that I am, uh, that I'm playing with. Three, two, one. And that's not even a magnet. That's just a bolt. Let's try a magnet. Here's another magnet. This is a nickium cobalt or whatever it is. It's not a, uh, it's not a real strong magnet. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. So that's quite a bit of current. I don't know if I can get it to move from there or not. Three, two, one. So there you go. That was about two inches away from the coil and it's all the way on the base three two one and that's again that is not a very strong magnet let's try a bigger magnet shall we here's a one inch neodymium sphere magnet Whoa. three two one bye bye <laughs> Right, I'm just gonna jog this thing. Oh, 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 that's awesome! Blew it out of there. I'm gonna see if I can get this coil to lift up from the power, the current going through here. Ready? Oh god! Suck that thing right out of my hands. Let me hang on to this thing a little tighter. You ready? That's repelling. Here's pulling. I can almost get that coil off. Let me flip this over. So that's a lot of that's a lot of pull force. Here's a uh, a one inch diamagnetically magnetized this direction. North and South Pole. Oh golly! That's bad. Let me look here. There you go. You guys see that? That's how much power is going through this coil. Oh man, that's not good on my coil. This will be switched. Uh, there you go. Some high power. It's getting hot, that's for sure. Alright, I don't know which polarity this is facing, but uh, let me get my safety glasses. Alright, everyone, I've got these marked north and south. We'll put south down real quick. Alright, turning on in 3, 2, 1. Alright, that's pulling. Flip these over and see if we can get them to fire off here. Three, two, one. Sorry, I just flickered it on and off. Let's try it again. North down. <laughs> Alright, north down again. That's great fun. Alright, I got them in there. They're laying down. <laughs> that is awesome. It's like a magic trick. <laughs> great fun, great fun, guys. Alright, fun's over.
I'm cooking my coil and I like this one. I want to do more experiments with it. So I'm not going to burn it up like all the rest of my coils. Ninja Turtles! Alright, I told you I had my safety glasses on. I wasn't kidding. Alright, well this is Russ and you've just seen the monopole test with my test results and they are basically nothing. I don't, I did not see a monopole. Um, that does not mean that they did not create or, you know, they, they didn't create one. That just means here in my environment I did not get that. Now, they are in, Ho they were testing in Hawaii and Jack Schultz is in Hawaii and he has gotten some very interesting magnetic fields going on down there with his coil. And uh, when the earth shifts, there are very interesting magnetic fields going on and changing. And it's very possible um, that that has an effect on this with their uh, volcanoes down there. And uh, here's another interesting thing that most of you might not know. But after Jack um, had his low, low resonator running uh, that evening or, or morning, um, there was an earthquake. So the ship, the, the the magnetics were maybe shifting around, and my theory on that is that um, maybe that was helping out with his resonant effect. Um, I don't know. But uh, here you go. Russ's rodent monopole tests. What you guys up to in there? My hot glue is uh, sticky. So I'm going to quit playing with this. I need to coat this thing, but kind of like it to flex. I like that. This is Russ. I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, that's it. That's all I got. I'm gonna go do some uh, very interesting things now with other other things. I'll show you later. Peace everyone. Have a good day. This is Russ.